Hello friends, good to see you. There is a lot of buzz about algorithm trading. I am excited to share a brief introduction about algo trading, why it is required, what are the advantages and also the disadvantages. Myself and my friend together have developed an algo system for our intraday trading. I will be sharing the technology used, features, what it took us to implement this algo system. In the end, I will also give you a demo by placing the orders. Do watch this video till the end. You will definitely learn something about the typical algo system. What are the difficulties with manual trading or placing the orders manually? Let us say you want to place an order together with target and SL. Of course, you can use bracket order, cover order or even basket order types. All these order types require you to fill price, target and SL information in the respective order windows which will consume a good amount of time. And when you have multi-legged option strategies for multi-client, it makes it even very difficult and very time consuming to place the order. By the time you place the order, the price would have gone somewhere else. You will not be able to capture the price that you are looking for. Even the adjustment becomes very difficult. That is why we need a trade automation. Algo trading is nothing but a computer program that trades on behalf of us with the set of rules that we have supplied. It can be semi-automated or fully automated. Here is the diagram that illustrates the normal trading and the algo trading. In case of normal trading, here is a trader who makes all the trading decisions, buy and sell decisions and send those orders through the computer or the mobile phone to the broker server. Broker server in turn sends those orders to the exchange and at the end of the trading you will have a profit and loss statement. In case of algo trading, as I mentioned there is a computer program that takes all the information from the trader. Trader will give or select the algo that needs to be run with the inputs that are required. Then program makes all the buy and sell decisions and sends those orders to the broker server using the APIs given by the broker. All those orders again will go to the exchange and of course it will have the profit and loss statement. Based on the type of algo that you design, it is also possible to change the inputs that are supplied to the algo in between when the algo is running. For example, when the algo is running, you can change the stop loss, you can change the target. Algo makes all the decisions such as when to enter, when to exit based on the inputs that you have provided. The advantages of the algo trading are the speed of execution in placing the order and also in exiting the order and making those decisions very fast and it avoids the human errors and it also minimizes the emotions. The moment you place the order or start the algo program, algo takes care of everything. You know your max loss and max profit. This way it brings in lot of discipline in the trading, which is a very important factor to be a successful trader. The disadvantages of algo trading are it requires to have a coding skills. Of course, you can hire someone to do the coding or develop the algo uh, for you. And there is always a dependency on technology such as cloud. If you are deploying it in the cloud or if you are hiring someone, you, you have a dependency on someone. And please note that a faulty algo can lead to a huge losses. So this is very important. A faulty algo can lead to huge losses. It is very important that the algo need to be very robust. Friends, algo alone cannot make a money. There are a lot of other factors that are required to make a money or to be a successful trader. I don't want to discuss in this video now. Maybe uh, in future videos we will discuss what is required to be a successful trader. When I became a full time trader, that is when I realized we need a automated trading system for intraday trading. I am from software coding design and architecture background. Myself and my friend had a debate whether to outsource the work or do it ourselves. After a lot of debate, we decided to do it ourselves. One of the main reason is we want to have a full control, at least the core part of the algo, because we want to be in this business for a longer period. Finally, we, we wrote the algo system for our intraday trading. So here is the system that I am going to uh, present to you. The main technology that is used in our algo system is Python and that too a lot of pandas libraries being used. Currently it is built using 
the Symfony FinTech XTS APIs. To supply the inputs to the algo, we use Excel sheet. In a moment from now, I will come to uh, come to it. How how do we supply the input to the algo? And the design is completely broker independent and API independent. Tomorrow, if we have to switch to different broker or an API uh, with less effort, we will be able to uh, modify the score algorithm. And it is completely version controlled. We have a, a demo mode as well as the live mode. Demo mode, we use it for debugging and live mode, of course, for live trading. And it has all the required logs for easy debugging. Here are the high level features that we have implemented. It supports both options and futures. In case of options, it is only option selling. And for futures, it supports both buying and selling of the futures. Nifty and Bank Nifty are definitely supported. And for futures, we have also included buying and selling of selective stocks. The another important feature we have already implemented is the USD INR support for both options and futures. It supports a single leg option selling or two leg option selling strategies such as strangle and straddles. It also supports the famous 920 straddle as well. And another very important feature that we wanted is the multi client support as we are handling multiple clients. It is already implemented and being used. Here are the entry and exit rules that uh, we have implemented and using. We can specify the time at which we can start the strategy for both options and futures. And also we can mention the future price at which the strategy can be triggered. Of course, the market order is supported and also the ATM entry. So what it means is when we say a strategy is ATM strategy, it automatically calculates the ATM strikes and initiates the option selling strategies. For exit, we can exit the strategy, the time at which we have specified in the strategy. And also we can exit at the particular future price. Of course, the market order or the immediate exit is also supported. The moment when the strategy gets triggered, the stop loss and all the target orders are placed in the system. We, we set, set the, the stop loss for the options based, based on the percentage of the premium that is sold and, and that, that percentage, percentage can, can be mentioned, mentioned in the strategy, strategy itself and, and for, for futures it is the points that are mentioned in the strategy is being set as the stop loss and, and of course the trailing stop loss is supported we decide to use the trailing or not to use the trailing before we start the strategy and for the target we set the percentage of points gained as a target for the options again this percentage is taken from the strategy input and for futures the absolute points that are mentioned in the strategy is being used to set the target for the futures another very important feature that we have implemented and using is the partial profit booking we can mention the amount of partial profit booking that we want to book in the strategy itself there are three categories that we have uh, implemented we can decide to book the profit of 25 percent or 50 percent in different parts i don't want to get into the details right now but this is very important feature as far as the risk management is concerned coming to the effort that we have spent in fact i was myself trying to find out how much time it took from scratch to go live i did my old tweets and found out that we started on 1st of may 2021 and went live in the first week of November 2021. It took us almost seven months of many hours being spent late night and weekends. And we also have to do a lot of testing in live with one lot, two lot, etc. It was not so easy, but yes, we we put a lot of effort and finally we have uh, algo ready that we, we are using. In fact, from December 2020 onwards, I have stopped punching the manual orders. All the orders are in the Excel sheet to the algo itself. It's quite comfortable to use and we are happy with it. Let us now move to the demo part. As I mentioned, we use Excel sheet for providing the inputs to the algo system. There are two Excel sheets, one for options and one for futures. Each of these rows in the Excel sheet corresponds to an instance of the strategy and the columns corresponds to an input to that respective strategy. Client ID, you can select any of the clients that uh, 
you wish to initiate the strategy and the strategy name has to be unique for uh, from for all these strategies slicing means you can mention the type of slicing that you want to do for the orders symbol you can select bank nifty nifty usd imr ce and pe strike when you want to initiate uh, the single leg uh, strategy you have to mention the other leg as the zero and one leg as the actual strike and when it is zero zero it becomes a atm strategy it will automatically pick the atm strike and initiate the strategy expiry date and lots per leg quantity you can mention here and percentage of stop loss percentage of target trailing stop loss points status status we have three uh, statuses new run and exit so when you say when we say new it is just a new strategy created when we say run the strategy gets triggered and if you if we want to exit the strategy we have to mention it as a exit in this cell and we can also mention the start time stop time of the strategy and also the fu the future price at which the strategy needs to be triggered and also exit similarly we have the inputs for futures based strategies i don't want to go through each one of those let us now move to the actual demo by supplying some of the inputs to the algo friends i have already started the algo application using the visual studio code as you can see the number of orders updated are right now zero and this is the excel sheet uh, that is used for feeding the strategy inputs for the options this is a file two leg strategy file and this is the actual sheet through which the strategies are being fed and i maintain a dummy sheet uh, wherein i prepare the strategy input and then copy to the two leg strategy what i will do do a quick demo of short triangle for nifty for three clients i have already picked up the c and p strikes 17900 ce and 16100 put option okay and all the remaining fields as i explained are already being filled and tsl let me put it as 0.05 instead of 1 so that we can see some trailing is happening <clears throat> okay so this is the information of all the strategies for three clients now i'm copying this to the actual sheet i will open the order window so here is the order window right now there are no orders okay what i will do is i will run this these strategies okay so we have to change the status to run and then save the file you will start seeing the orders being executed you can see now all the um, orders got filled and see the order source that is through api all the sl and limit orders are being placed for all the three clients that is why you see so many sls and limits in fact i have given the uh, partial profit booking etc that's why you see the number of orders for sl and limit you can see already the trailing stop loss being triggered and um, for call option call option the stop loss is getting changed so that is you see the status shown as replaced okay now if i want to exit this strategy i just have to go here <coughs> change it to exit for all of the rows okay and then save uh, if the st uh, stop time is zero it will immediately exit and if you set it to a particular time only at that time all the strategies gets exited here okay now right now i have set it as zero i am going to exit by saving this file okay i save the file you see now all the orders getting cancelled for sl and limit okay so it closes all the open orders that's it okay so that's a very quick demo uh, it is difficult to co cover all the scenarios our, our next, next plan, plan is to implement the combined stop, stop loss that is mtm based stop loss and also include some of the important indicators such as cpr pivots and atr etc and we may move to cloud right now uh, it is not required because all these stop losses and these targets are placed in the system that is they are present in the exchange even if something happens to our internet or to the computer uh, all these orders are in the exchange there is no need of moving to cloud as of now and we may include some report generation 
uh, in future it is a continuous process we keep on improving the algo you may now ask can this algo be provided to the public usage may not be right now maybe in future for some of our subscribed clients we may think of but not right now friends based on the type of trading that you do understand there is a real need of algo system or not if there is a need see what kind of algo system you want i hope you learn something out of this video consider subscribing to this channel and also press the like button do share this with your friends thank you for watching i will be back with another video soon